When I originally diagnosed my truck, I used a oscilloscope. You can do the same thing with a DVOM, so let's get started. So we're getting a lot stronger signal off of the... So we're getting a lot stronger signal off of the, the front one than we are the back. First, we're gonna get rid of this top cover. Our connector is located right there. So we're gonna get rid of them two eight millimeter bolts and get rid of our cover. Now, here's our knock sensor harness, our connector. And we're gonna disconnect it. And we're gonna get in here and we're gonna get our DVOM and check this out. Now let's set up our DVOM. We're gonna set it at 200K. Don't worry if yours don't have the 200K as long as you're above the 100K. So if you've got 400K, that'd be great. The closer to the scale, the better you'll be. Like this one's 99.5. We're not really caring whether it's 99.5. The 99 is all we need, see? My next step is to uh, thousand so if I go up there we're still gonna get the same reading 99 we just lose the, the point so as long as you're above the 100 you need at least be 200 or higher and what we want to do is measure between 93 and 107 K ohms now we've connected our black to a good ground and we're on one of the pins here 99.8 all you got to do now is put it on the lower pin and let's see what we got but if you look we're still within the parameters and the reason that is is I've already replaced these they both check good we're gonna go over here and check the bad ones and see what we get this is what you would have seen. This is what I seen when I checked them the first time. Scale and everything is still set up. If you'll work this, this, this sensor is actually still good, but it being underwater. So if you get to where you can get a good connection, the sensor falls within the parameters. And if we move over to our good, known good, didn't have a code for this one. Move this over. See, we fall down in our within our parameters and you can do anything you want to here this is not going to change that tells us that our ground to our engine is good so if you just go through check one then check the other one and you get two different readings one of them within specs you know everything's good it's going to be from here to our sensor so, and definitely our connection is bad where this has all been under underwater so that's where our problem exists. You still got to replace this because there's no way you're going to clean the inside of that out or clean the inside of that out. So definitely got to get a harness and a knock sensor. I'm in there. Knock sensor is not that much more expensive. Replace them both. We're done. Now you can plainly see that this, is, this hole has got water had been leaking off in it. Now GM has a TSB to put RTV around that and then you, we shouldn't have no more uh, problems with it. This is the area we want to put our RTV. You can either put it on the block side or put it on your harness side either way. Just make sure you got a little bead coming out when you get done. Okay, that's it for this one. Hopefully it got you enough information. If not, go ahead and leave me a comment one way or another. And if you can, help me out, hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one.